Hey everybody, it's Elisa with Momtastic Life and welcome back to my channel. This video is slightly different than the content I have been putting out. This takes a brief look at some of the things that I get done during the week. So sit back, let me do all the work, and enjoy guys. Hey everybody, this is what I'm looking at now. Kind of bouncy, right? It's me. It's not the uh, scenery. I'll show you what I look like. Be warned, pretty freaking scary right now. All right, here you have it. This is Monday. Am I out of breath? Absolutely. Currently walking down a hill. But this is the last bit of my, I don't know, I think it's going to end up to be a three point something mile walk with a couple of little running drums. I use the term running pretty loosely. <laughs> um, but I walk every day. So this is Monday. It's like 80, I don't know, probably 85 degrees already because it's somewhere around 11 or 12. Yeah, I know. But guess what? Sleep is paramount, and I slept in. Not ashamed, not sorry. All right, back to breathing. Okay, so it's still Monday. I would like to think that I am looking a little less scary than I was on my walk this morning. Not so like completely red and a complete mess, just my normal mess. And I just wanted to check in with you guys and tell you what the rest of my day was looking like. Um, it's actually, uh, I think it's about six o'clock right now. So it's been the whole day almost. Um, I had to answer some emails. I had to run some errands. And I also did my grocery shopping. It's Monday today. And I, I shop on Mondays. And then I came home and set everything up. Filmed my grocery haul to get put out later this week. And now I'm about to prep the fruits and veggies I got from the store maybe eat something because I'm sort of starving and um, hang out for the rest of the night, you know, watch some TV, respond to some emails, do your basic, you know, sit on the couch crap <laughs> and hang with the family. So I hope you guys had a great day and I'll see you soon. All right, it's Tuesday morning, people. This is what our Tuesday morning is looking like. My husband is out here watering plants. We didn't know it, but he's like a total plant guy. So back here, we're growing a few things. Actually, we're growing two things, but different varieties. Yeah. So here's hubby. He's going to give us the walkthrough of what we've got here. That's our uh, poblano pepper plant. Okay, you're going to have to talk a little louder. This is our poblano pepper plant. Uh, it used to be right down here when we first got it, so it's growing pretty good. This is the Anaheim pepper plant. Water's leaking through. The only thing I know about Anaheim is Disneyland, so this is new for me. And this is our crown jewel, so we're waiting for this thing to grow. Um, our ghost ghost pepper plant. And it's ghosting us. It won't come up yet. Hey, it's growing. The roots are getting stronger. I was worried about it. but <laughs> um, This is our jalapeno, which has some... Little guys starting to finally bud out. Little jalapenos! Salsa baby. And this is our New Mexico chili, which is oh, yeah. coming along very nicely. It's got. We're gonna a bring lot this in. in. No, these aren't even ready yet. No, all. but look, they're growing. When we got these, there was nothing on them. They were like. It was this big. How big, honey? Down here. Yeah, they were just little stubbity things. Don't move too fast. Look at that. How awesome is that? And that's about one, two, about four inches. It's four inches. And this over here is our tomatillo. Ah, the tomatillo. And look at this, guys. There's some good peppers on there. Pretty awesome. All right, we're going to move around here. And this is our shishito. I don't know what a shishito pepper is, but apparently it's a thing. Oh, it was given to us by, all this was given to us by a good friend of ours. 
Mm. And this is our habanero, which is another great one. And this is going to be, this is pretty hot, right, babe? Uh, yeah, the ghost is much hotter than this one. Yeah, but it's ghosted us, so it's not working This yet. is hotter than jalapeno. Hotter than jalapeno. Habanero hot. Yep. And over here, we have tomato plants. So, okay, we'll start with the smaller ones. And this one that I'm showing you right now, let me get down so you can see it better. So it's probably doubled in size since we got it about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And right now it's just all the greenery. Got some buds coming in here, which is the starting of tomatoes. Okay, and then I don't know what kind of tomatoes these are gonna be. Um, I mean, the big boys. Those are gonna be the big boys. And then here's our other some tomato more. plant which is about the same size. Okay, so that's, that's the sister, sister brother plant. Yeah, little, little huh? Oh, lizard. lizard. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can I zoom in? All right, we can throw an arrow in there. Okay, and then here's our big boy. This other, this next tomato plant I'm going to show you, it was like tiny, tiny. It came in, it literally came in a plastic cup. That's how tiny it was. Look at this bad boy. This is a tomato plant, and this has all kinds of tomatoes on it. And we have our first couple of ones that are just turning red. Hubby has done a fabulous job. These are Roma. These are aroma potato potatoes. These are not potatoes, tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. There's all the little Let's sneak around and find the red one. Is. This to me is amazing, you guys, because honestly, I kill fake plants. And it's like not even on purpose. They die a nasty death of being covered in dust or whatever because they forget that they're even there. Real plants have zero hope with me. Zero. And I'm lucky the kid is still alive at this point. But this bad boy? This bad boy is awesome. I'm going in. Look at this, you guys. Target has an entire beauty section. Like, I've never seen this before. This is a Target across town from my house, so I'm not typically up here. But it's turning into like a full beauty market. That's pretty cool. Wow. All right, so I'm home from Target, and it was kind of a bust. There's a couple of things I'm looking for. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm really obsessed with finding a salt cellar right now, which I know seems absolutely crazy, right? I mean, and what the heck is a salt cellar anyway? So basically, it's like a container that you put on your counter that hold salt. <laughs> and why do I want this? Because when I bake, it's a lot easier to just be able to put my measuring spoon into an open container like I do with my flour and sugar to get out the amount I need as opposed to pouring it onto the spoon and measuring it. All right? Is it actually easier? Maybe not, but it sounds like a lot more fun. So uh, I did not find that. And I was also looking for some Lysol cleaner for my bathroom and um, I need some new bowls because we run out of bowls like every day. It's crazy. But the one thing I did find is, all right, where is it? Here. This is my big takeaway from Target. It is a shovel. And um, no, it is not to bury anyone. It's for hubby, for his planting, for the plants we saw this morning. He needs a shovel to uh, move plants. So I got him a shovel. And that was about it. And Target was fairly empty. There was there were some people roaming around, but it wasn't too bad. So I'm home now. Um, I'm about to sit and eat lunch, and I will show you what I am having. And um, I don't know what the rest of the day is going to hold. So I've been to Target. I've been over to City Hall today to drop something off. And now I'm going to eat because Mama is hungry. All right, guys. It's Wednesday morning. 
and I am about to go out for my walk. I have my ponytail up here ready to bounce around. Um, <laughs> random information. Today is one of those days where I really don't feel like going. You know, I'm sitting on the couch arguing with myself and what the hell else am I doing today? Nothing. And I'm sorry, I'm squinting. The sun is bright in my face. But um, I try and walk every day or at least six days a week. And when I don't go, I feel ridiculously guilty as if I'm, I don't know, I should be going. But anyways, I'm off for my walk. It's probably going to be, I don't know, 45 minutes or an hour or something. And then I will be home and figure out what the heck Wednesday is going to bring this week. All right. Okay, so it's Wednesday afternoon. It's about 1.30. I've showered, as we can see, so I smell much better than before. My walk was about 50 minutes, and it was a little bit over three miles, and it was freaking hot out. But um, I have not eaten yet, and I am starving. So we're going to go make some lunch, and um, yeah, take care of that, and then we'll see how it goes. So for lunch today, I decided to be a little decadent. And okay, I have to say this, I have never in my life ordered this off of a menu. I have no idea why I felt like I needed it today. But <laughs> you saw me cooking a couple of eggs over there. They're over between over medium and over hard. And we had a tri-tip roast for dinner last night, which was so good. So I decided on steak and eggs for brunch because it is now nearly two o'clock. I'm hungry and I don't know, I don't know why I need steak and eggs. Although hubby made a steak quesadilla earlier and it was really good. And so I thought that would be good with eggs. So this is what we're having. I'll give you a look at my plate and then I'm gonna go eat. Okay, here is what my plate looks like. I just threw a little bit of pepper on my eggs and I am gonna go chow down and fill my belly. All right, guys, so it's still Wednesday. It's about 3.30, quarter to four right now. Uh, my lunch was delicious, by the way. I don't know that I would choose steak and eggs all the time, but it was good. Um, so anyway, I came across a guy on YouTube called, a uh, channel called Kitchen Tips Online recently, and he cleaned a cookie sheet to look almost new. Now, if anybody has baked or cooked at all for any length of time, you have cookie sheets that look like this. Don't say you don't, because we all do. And I have many cookie sheets and they are in different stages of this. So for instance, if I use this now, I will foil it because I don't even wanna cook on it directly. It's just so ugly, right? And stuck on crap and discoloration. So anyway, he did a thing on his channel and he completely cleaned this to look brand freaking new. So I decided I was going to try it because this, this, this would be an amazing life hack if it works. So all you do, he had some easy off oven cleaner and the bottle he was using was blue. I don't know if that makes a difference, but this is what I got. So this is what I'm using. Easy off and... Um, either some SOS pads or Brillo pads. Okay, and the idea is that we're going to spray our pan, we're going to let it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then we're going to scrub it with one of these. And hopefully it'll work and I can like renew all of my baking pans, which would be amazing. So we're going to turn around, I'm going to do half the pan so we can see a difference because if it doesn't work, I want to see you know, like how much came off or, you know, if there is any difference because I'm a little bit skeptical, honestly, but this would be awesome. So let's try it. All right. So here's our pan. I have it resting over the sink because um, this is just probably the safest place to do it edge to edge. And we're going to spray half of it. 
Okay. Here we go. <coughs> Woo! You guys, the fumes, <coughs> horrible. All right, the fumes are horrible. I don't, I know I have this stuff. I don't think I've ever used it. So we are gonna let this sit for, you know, 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll come back and see if it works. All right, it's truth time. It's been soaking for about 16 minutes. So let's see if this hack works. Got my SOS pad here. I'm gonna put a little water on it. And, holy moly. is tired. I'm going to rinse it off. It definitely, from what I can see at this point, has improved some. I, I will have to do the other side of this pan, I think. I don't know that it's perfect, but a couple of last scrubs. All right, let's rinse. Hot water. And we're going to follow this up with some soap and water to get any residue off. And now we'll take a closer look. All right, you guys, I'm, I'm fairly impressed, okay? So I scrubbed for, I don't know, maybe th three or so minutes. And um, I could have probably scrubbed another couple of minutes and it may have made a difference, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm definitely gonna do the other side of the pan. Look at that, okay? So while it's not absolute perfection, that is a huge difference. I mean, this is a side that I would almost cook on now without foil. So I think I'm definitely gonna do the other side of the pan and I am going to maybe redo this side to see if I can get some more of that off. But I think it's well worth the, um, it's well worth the try on some of your pans, guys. This is freaking awesome. This is a life hack right here. This is a money saving life hack because now you don't have to go buy new baking pans. So, um, Pretty cool, pretty cool. And um, just remember that if you do try this to wash with hot uh, water and regular dish soap after you're done with the SOS or the Brillo pad because you wanna get all the residue off of the easy of the easy off. You don't want any of that stuff hanging around. But um, not bad. All right, awesome. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning at about 8.45 and um, sitting downstairs having my coffee um, because if I don't have a coffee, I don't have a day. <laughs> That's basically the bottom line, lifeline right here. Um, after I'm done with this, I need to throw some clothes on and run up to Mason's school to pick up his registration packet for the year. Um, I need to film a bake with me video today. I need to squeeze my walk-in. It's only supposed to be in the 80s today instead of the 90s, so I could do that maybe a little bit later without 
dropping from heat stroke. <laughs> and I need to do the never ending pile of laundry that is uh, taking up my laundry room. Lots of sheets and blankets and uh, some clothes for both myself and Mason. And um, that's it. So while there aren't a lot of tasks to get done, they are all slightly time consuming. So I'll be at home today. Well, actually we're kind of home every day, right? So as usual, I will be at home today, but I will have things to do around the house. <laughs> and um, I don't know, I think that's about it, but we'll see how the day goes and I will check in with you guys later. And I hope everybody has a great day. All right, you guys, see you later. Hey everybody, so it's Thursday afternoon. It's about four o'clock right now. Um, I've been pretty, pretty? I've been pretty busy most of the day. I went on my walk. I walked about one and three quarters miles. So one of the shorter ones, but it was okay. It was nice out. I ran up to my kid's school, picked up registration papers. I have just about filmed and finished my baking video. I just have to film the outro while the baked goods are cooling. And you guys may get to see that before this goes up. I'm not sure, but you should definitely watch it because the thing I think is going to be delicious. I'm not telling you what it is yet. Um, I've got laundry going, one in the washer, a load in the dryer, and I still have some more to do. Um, I've swept the kitchen and the, the living room. Um, and now I, it's like four o'clock. I'm about to eat lunch because I'm hungry. Uh, after I eat, I still have dishes to do to clean up from the baking video, and I still have to, um, like I said, film the outro to that, and then I might be done. I'm not sure, but um, I will show you what I am having for lunch. It is a nice carrot stick and a sandwich um, and some water, so quit looking at my food. I'm going to go eat. Hello everybody. Well, it's still Friday. I had my cup of coffee earlier and I ran out of rent. <laughs> I didn't rent anything. I went on my walk. I walked about three and a quarter miles today. So, um, yay, feeling accomplished. I can be done. No, <laughs> it's about 12 o'clock right now. And as you just saw, I'm about to sit down and eat my first meal of the day. Um, I didn't get up until Oh, around nine or something. So I'm about to have this bowl, which is looking really good to me right now, of bananas, strawberries, and blackberries. Yes. And a cup of coffee number two. I typically have like two cups in a day. Uh, sometimes the second cup's a little later. Sometimes it's now. So today it's now. Um, I don't have a lot to do today. I have to cut up and uh, prep the watermelon I bought this week, which is still sitting on my counter uncut and I have to cut up all the carrots and stuff that I bought. But um, to be fair, I had carrots already prepped in the fridge and I just ran out, so I am replenishing my prepped carrot stash. Um, I don't have a whole lot else going on today. I may or may not do some more laundry. Uh, I may or may not get all the dishes done. Actually, I probably will. I don't like the dirty sink. But um, you know what? I wanted to ask you guys because you know, when we started the stay at home thing, I started walking every day and I used to walk with Byron every day and then Byron got busy or sometimes he likes to run. And, um, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I 
When I refer to running to myself, it's usually a very easy jog for about a block at a time and then a lot of huffing and puffing while I'm walking the rest. But um, I've really gotten into listening to podcasts. And I know, I know they have been around like forever, it seems. But I'd never, <clears throat> excuse me, I've never paid attention to them. I never knew even how to access them. I never knew what they were about. I just knew there were a lot of them and people were talking. But I found a few that I really, really like. And some of them are kind of newsy. And some of them are um, like stories. Like I, I found one that's a total rom-com, romantic comedy. And um, it was awesome. And it had multiple episodes. So I listened to that for multiple days. And then I found another one that was sort of um, mystery, creepy, weirdo stuff. Yeah, I like that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I listened to that for a few days. And um, and now I'm looking for something new because the, the ones that I subscribe to only come out maybe one episode a week and I'm all caught up. So if you guys have any podcasts you want to recommend to me, please do. Or tell me if you exercise, what do you listen to? Is it music? Is it podcasts? Um, I know I'm way late in the game, so <laughs> this is all new to me, but I'm excited to find new things to listen to. Anyway, I am going to sit, drink my coffee while it's still hot. Actually, I'm one of those people, I will nuke my coffee to keep it hot several times until I'm done. I just, I don't like um, room temperature. It's got to be like hot, hot, hot or iced coffee. So I will sit and nuke my coffee continually until I'm done and eat and then figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. See you later. All right, uh, I almost said Wednesday night. Friday night, guys, and here is hubby. And he made dinner tonight out on the smoker. It's a small, simple dinner, but it looks and smells delicious. We have smoked salmon and some steamed broccoli. Just a very basic dinner, but yummy. And I'm gonna bring you back here to the salmon because you know it is excellent with the leftovers cold in the morning on a bagel with cream cheese after it's been in the smoker freaking amazing so here's our friday night feast oh and he went to the store today this is my hubby's kryptonite by the way vanilla cupcakes with buttercream frosting from the market <laughs> hubby take a bow here we go dun dun, -dun! <laughs> hey everybody okay it's saturday morning i'm about to head out with byron on our walk together i just wanted to close this video out and say thanks for hanging out with me this week it was just a quick little glimpse into some of the things i get done in a week but i appreciate you guys sticking around and if you don't mind go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the ding thumbs up button below and i will see you guys in the next one bye everyone